Hi guys, this is the single lens system. <clears throat> um, by the way, you can see single lens. There is a typo in the name of the. I just noticed it. Anyway, um, so we have an object here, and the image of it was on the other side of it. Okay, and it was like one thirty point nine, and the coordinates for this one is they told us that the y was um, two point five one, and the other one here is the x from here to here is fifty six point one. Okay. And this point here is the x equal 0 and y equal 0, the origin. <clears throat> and they gave us that the n for this lens is 1.39. Okay. Okay, so the first question. Well, first, let's look at it. Um, it would be a, an um, converge lens because the image was on the other side. And also you can know that the it's like the focal point should be somewhere here okay because if if the object was here and it was the um, converge one then the image would be in the back here I hope this makes sense I hope I'm making sense um, yeah so let's go through it so what is the F lens, so we want the focal for the for this lens. So one over F equal um, one over S plus one over S prime. S is the distance between the object and the lens, and S prime is between the lens and the um, image. Okay. So one over F will be equal to one over 56.1 plus 1 over 130.9 okay <clears throat> so 1 divided by 56.1 plus 1 divided by 130.9 and 1 divided by the answer we get 39.27 so the focal point is as we said it's 39.27 okay all right cool all right second question is um, where is the y2 the coordinates of the um, the image so if we said that the let's draw this real quick so the first line will be parallel and then it will diverge Let's see, what is this distance here? Almost five. So the focal point will be almost like around here. Okay, so it's gonna go to the focal point. And one of them will go somewhere here like this. This should go from this point. That's so bad. Okay, so it's gonna uh, one of them will go through this. It's bad. It's bad. It's so bad. Anyway, you get to know that the image will be here. Okay. Um, and it's inverted, right? So question number two is was asking. Yeah, so let's get the height of this one. So the height, this one should be much bigger. Like it's going on that side. So h prime over h will be equal to um, s prime over s. Okay. So we need to find h prime. So it's equal to the height of it. So it's 2.51 times s 
prime, which was 130.9, divided by ES, which is 56.1. Let's see what this guy is going for. So 2.5 times 2.51 times 130.9 divided by 56.1. So we get 5.85. 5.85 and it's going to be negative because it's going to be inverted okay, this is so bad it should be somewhere here it's like it's one third centimeters and this guy is only 56 so it's it should be way over there and why it's negative well here it should be negative and you can know it's negative because it'll be flipped okay so question number three is the the lens is a plano convex lens so it's lens over here and what is the R lens the radius of curvature of the convex side of the lens so they want the curvature of this guy here so it's 1 over F equal N minus 1 over 1 over R the radius of curvature so we can see that the radius of curvature is just F times N minus 1 Okay, so our focal was 39.27, and they gave me the N in the question, which was uh, 1.39. 1.39 is my N, so 1.39 minus 1. Okay, so 39.27 times um, 0.39, it's 15.31. Okay. All right. So, question number three: The object is now moved x equal x new, which is twenty-two centimeter. So twenty-two centimeters will be will will come up here. Okay. And if you look closely, then let's draw this again. So this is the object, and this is the focal point. So it's gonna, it's gonna like, um, it's gonna make an image behind it here, somewhere here, okay? Because it's after the focal point. And my drawing is very bad now, because so I need to do a couple things, and I need to do this. Anyway, so, number four is, um, so we have the same focal point, 1 over S, equal 1 over S plus 1 over S prime. So 1 over F is we have this one, 1 1.39.27, okay. Um, equal 1 over s, 1 over 22.8 plus 1 over s prime. Alright, so when you take this to the other side, you'll get another negative value. And you can see, you can see why, because the value was, um, the image will produce it um, to the back here. Um, okay, so 1. 1 divided by 39.27 minus 1 divided by 22.8 1 divided by answer I'll get 54.36 54.36 and it's negative 